Hello there boys and girls, hunters and ladies. I want to make this video to talk a little bit about what's going on. There has been some major uh, changes in some of the setup and some of the plans for for the, cat, the last couple of months. First off, I wanted to, the footage that you're seeing is a part of a quest chain that you're doing in Northern Stranglethorn. You find a, a small baby raptor at one point and it starts to follow you around and you end up doing some quests and it helps you to complete the quest. So it's a little bit different, something that we really haven't tried before, at least not before Cannibalism came out. So it helps you with these quests and you need to have this pet up in order to, to find some of the items. At one point it finds a huge skull, and it's a troll skull and it help, you help to figure out that it, it, this troll apparently is some type of uber troll, maybe some type of, maybe primordial early evolution for trolls, maybe, don't really know. Anyway, uh, some some gnomes find this interesting and they want to try to figure out and learn more about where this, this specific troll came from. And the quest continues and you end up assembling the body and you actually also kill some trolls and find some type of incantation something to try and get this, this um, troll alive again. You end up succeeding. And, well, who would you know? The guy you've actually tried to resurrect is now I can't remember his name obviously. Uh, I'm gonna make sure to write his name down so you can see it on the screen. But it is the Bloodlord guy, the one that dropped the raptor in the old Silkaroo, the Silkaroo 1.0. He has been resurrected and he is now back in Silkaroo. What actually ends up happening is as soon as you revive him, he takes a little gnome captive. And you are given the choice. Well, actually, you're not given the choice. Because me, as a player, I cannot choose if I want to do one or the other. But he says that you have a choice. Either you let him have the raptor, and he will let the gnome go. Or if you don't give him the raptor, he's going to kill the gnome. Now, obviously, if I had the possibility of choose what I wanted, I would have... I mean, a gnome. Who cares about gnomes, right? So I would definitely just let that gnome get cream so I can keep that baby raptor. But you don't have a choice, so it teleports away. And the connection that has sort of been created through the quest chain between you and the raptor actually makes it possible for a troll. There's a troll that helps you out with... She tries to, to get this thing going where you have a connection. Because, because of your emotional connection to this raptor, you can, through this sort of link, be able to control the raptor and help it to escape. A little bit early on the quest chain, you're actually seeing through the eyes of the raptor. You get some vital information about what's going on. The plans of trying to get Hakkar back into the living world and all that stuff. Basically, a lot of the stuff that we're seeing now in the uh, the 4.1 patch. So, but you try to help it escape and that's what you're doing now. And, and some of the other raptors actually help you out. And it, it's a really fun quest chain. Some of them are a little bit difficult to do, but I finally manage. Obviously, yeah, right when you hit the door, I think it's Jinto or whatever his name is that discovers that you are behind the raptors trying to escape. He sees that you are in control of the raptor and trying to help to escape. You get caught and luckily you survive, but you don't get the pet out. So if you've done that quest chain and you have done the uh, basically gotten the achievement for doing the Northern Stranglethorn quests, at least on your lion side, I'm guessing there are about the same on the horde side, but don't quote me on it. I'm not 100% sure, but. If you've done it on the Alliance side, you will be able to get the pet in Sulguru when you go in now. Because in the area, in the, in the starting area where, where he used to be. If you remember Sulguru, if you go back to check my Sulguru video, I'll put a link to it. He, you had his room, it was sort of like the area where he was around. Right outside there were a lot of trolls. He is spawned there now, there's sort of like a small arena. And this is where he's running around now. And when you beat the boss, the pet is standing next to where the boss spawned. He has an exclamation mark and you just right click on it and you can complete the quest and you get him as a pet. The only thing I wish was that he was so cute when he was he's running around with a skull in his mouth at one point and he looks so cute. And I was really hoping that he would do that, but he, he just looks like all the other raptors. So it's not really that special. But it's, it's nice that you have gotten the pet because you kind of get a liking to it when you're doing the quest chain. So I'm really happy that you end up getting it. Anyway, what I really wanted to talk about was... I'm just going to mention a little bit of, a, of an update about what's, what's going on really. So you know we were building a raid team and we started off with wanting to do a 25-man team. 
we decided to go to 10 man instead. That kind of didn't work, so we wanted to make so we we tried to make just one 10 man team. Then when we started to we wanted to get ready, and now okay, we're 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 good to go. We're setting up the first raid. Three people showed up, and we tried a couple of, of, of times to try to set up a raid, and it was two, three, four people signing up. So unfortunately, we we figured out that this is about this is going to die. So I, I started to look around about what can I do. I was actually getting bored about playing Cial, and I felt really bad about that because she is my main, she is the one I want to progress on. I don't really want to use a lot of energy on other characters because I have so many achievements and so on on Cial. So she was the one that I wanted to play, but I was I was getting bored of playing her because I didn't get to raid, and because at least for now the end game content there's not a lot of it. I mean. You can do a little bit of Tolborad questing, and that's about it. There's not really that many heroics to do, and when you're pugging them, at least for now, people are badly geared. Some of people are badly geared anyway, and people don't know what to do, so they suck at it, and it's just... it wasn't fun. So I decided to go on a lookout, and I went to a Danish uh, Warcraft site. I thought, well, let's see, let's see if there's no Danish guild for me, that could be fun. And I found a couple of, of possibilities, and I, I uh, applied to a couple of them, and got a couple of responses, and one of them is the one I'm in now. I'm still on trial yet, so I can't, I'm not, of course I can't be 100% sure that I will make the final raid team, but I'm hoping that's going to be the case. They have three raid teams already, this is the fourth raid team they're trying to build up, and I am the only hunter on the team, and if I may say so myself, I think I'm doing okay. My DPS is a little bit low, but I am not that well geared. But I'm doing pretty good on, you know, staying out of the fire and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And damage isn't everything. And luckily my Raylier feels the same way and I'm helping him out a little bit, you know, to be a little bit of an assistant for him. So I'm hoping that I will end up being a, uh, a regular member of the raid team and of that guild. So uh, if that ends up being the case, I'm going to be... You're gonna see a lot more about about that team. You will be able to. I will be able to make those videos that I wanted to do with the uh, sort of the casual players raid guide. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that much about the the current raid content because we are so far into it. So I'll probably do some recordings. I wanted to do some recording of Halifus the other day, but I had some lag problems. I have since worked a little bit more about trying to set up fraps to work correctly and it has helped. Uh, I can mention that just yesterday we went in to do the... Uh, I set up a raid for uh, Old War 10 to get the mount achievement. And we actually ended up getting over three, about 350 achievement points or something like that. And we did end up with a mount. So we were uh, very happy for that and it's it, it was a really fun raid. And these are... First of all they're Danish so that's pretty fun to play with uh, people from from the same country as me, but they're also very skilled people and I'm hoping that I'm going to be good enough for them and be able to make some of the videos that I would like to do for you guys. So we're, I'm hoping that that's going to work out. I'm not going to do too much about it yet, yet. They have asked me to maybe do some kind of recruiting if there are other Danish people, but I'm not that much into doing it yet, at least not until I get a full membership and they're okay with that. I'll probably introduce at least the guild and probably the raid team as we get further along, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for now. Make sure to check out some of the stuff from the Instance podcast that I've done. You can find it on my channel, so go check that out and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. See ya!